Hello everybody, I'm back with another unboxing video. Uh, I was going to unbox this with my uh, Spyderco paramilitary, but as you notice, I don't really have to. So, let's go and pull this open and see what I got here. Alright. I'm very excited to get this knife, so... Let's see here. I ordered this from uh, KnifeCenter.com. I don't need that. Here we go. don't need this either. Okay, as you can see, I got a Spyderco. All right, so specifically, this is the C36 TIP, which uh, is the um, uh, Titanium Military. So let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's get rid of this. Look at that. I love Titanium Frame Locks. Man. Wow, that is one huge knife. Well, good, I got this over here, so. Look at the uh, look at the massive size difference between the uh, military and the uh, paramilitary. Obviously, anybody who's who's uh, th these knives have been around for a little while and they're very popular, so I'm sure a lot of people know the size difference it is already. But so this is the G10 paramilitary down here, of course, and uh, uh, this is the, the the TI military. But very nice heft to it. Um, I I don't I didn't really like the the compression lock on the uh, on the paramilitary. I do like the size of the military or the paramilitary. I mean, but the uh, but the military uh, has got the frame lock on this, which I really really like. And it's a little crunchy, as you can probably hear right there. Let's see here, hear that? Yeah. So probably got a got to need do a little uh, breaking period on this. It's uh it's not as smooth as uh you know as my my para at this moment, but. Uh, once I play with it a, a few times, I'm sure uh, I'm sure it'll get smoother. So, but yeah, look at that. Let me uh, zoom in really quick so you guys can take a quick look at this thing. So, very nice. Got the Spider Co logo there. Uh, it says uh, uh, CPMS 30V, uh, Golden Colorado, Colon Colorado, uh, USA Earth on the back here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful blade. I love the, the the plain edge on this thing. This thing is wicked looking. You know, here it is compared to the uh, uh, the Spider's Edge on the Para here. So, I I I actually kind of like it when when it's either all plain edge or or all uh, uh serrated i don't like it when they're partial for some reason i just like it i just like everything to be uniform so but yeah same kind of good jimping on the on the uh, uh, uh thumb wrap and also the under uh, side the choil here um i believe both these have the 14 millimeter uh opening for the holes um this doesn't have a sal's uh, uh, uh signature on the back though um my para does so but yeah this is very nice you know See the lanyard hole. Good. It has a little tube in the back. It has a small spacer right here. A little back spacer. Uh, looks like the pocket clip overlaps the um, uh, the lock to kind of act as a uh, as a, a lock stop. Look how thick that lock uh, bar is. You know, even right now, brand new out of the box, it's, it's almost to the 50% mark. But uh, it's very um, it's very crunchy at this moment. But yeah, locks up super tight. I mean, this thing is not going anywhere. Oh man, what a great knife! You know, I'm glad I I, I bought this. Uh, when I first heard about this, I I, I want I was uh, I knew I put this on my list right away because I knew I had to get one myself. So I'm glad I did. This is this is just it's just awesome. Oh man, listen to that beautiful sound. And, oh, that's great. I love it. But a little hard to uh, unlock with the left hand here. But whoops, love it. What a great knife. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, play with this for a little while. And uh, I will uh, bring back my findings about it. I'm sure it's going to be nothing short of excellent as knowing all Spydercos are. So uh, I will catch you guys on the full review. All right. Take care.